Hey everyone and welcome to a tutorial about moving UI views across the iPhone screen. Now this is probably more useful in the game aspect of, uh, of programming apps for the uh, iOS devices but since uh, game programming is the path I'm going to be specializing in so to speak um, my future tutorials will most likely be based around stuff that can be related to game programming <clears throat> although it can also be useful in many other aspects but my intents and purposes is game design so let's just dive right into it so what we want to, what we want to do is get a UI view to move from one side of the iPhone screen to the other and then stop if it reaches uh, the end. Now there's some stuff you need to know for for this tutorial at least to understand everything. You gotta know some Objective-C and you gotta know your way around the main aspects of Xcode and you gotta know a little about UI views and how it all fits together with the whole parent and child views you know the, the sub views and all that kind of stuff and how they're drawn on the screen the x and y coordinates <clears throat> but it's okay if you aren't 100% clear on these uh, aspects because a lot will be illustrated by this tutorial so let's just dive right into it oh and just a quick reminder jbjprogram.com I'll be adding some code snippets um, in there as well so you can uh, find some sort of cheat sheet for these uh, tutorials oops opening words Let's go ahead and find Xcode there we go we're gonna create a new Xcode project it's gonna be a single view application I'm gonna call it move UI view we use storyboard and arc and we are on in just a sec okay there we go <clears throat> as soon as my storyboard loads up we should be ready and here we go now we're gonna add the UI view here and in order to illustrate how the X and Y coordinates are arranged here in Xcode we're just gonna add a simple UI view here so we just drag a UI image view in we set the size to 75 times 75 get a nice little square and just gonna give it background color let's make it green whoops not the background color yep yeah this should work for all intents and purposes okay now <clears throat> as you can see here if you go up to the uh, the size inspector upper right corner this UI image view is currently placed at 123 points X and 20 points Y. Now, if we move it downwards, uh, yeah, you see that the Y value is incrementing. It's increasing one point um, for each press on the down arrow on the keyboard. So that means the higher the Y value, the further down it is on the screen. And with the X value, if we go left, you see that the X value decrements and if we go right it increments and so that's how it is the X is to left and right and Y is up and down you can go ahead and experiment a little with that to uh, <clears throat> to fully grasp how how the X and Y coordinates uh, work here in Xcode now we're gonna place this here at 123X and 0Y just gonna go ahead and create an outlet for this one 
control click drag over and we're gonna call it move me so now that we've created an outlet we have access to it so we can <clears throat> change the coordinates of it and by changing the coordinates we move it Oops. just gonna go ahead and in the view to load method here I think it's probably the simplest way to do this Gonna remove the commented outline here. Just gonna say move UI view. Just saying, I'm just quickly gonna look for something because I think you may have a hard time seeing what I'm writing here. So if I could just increase the font size. That would be terrific. I don't think it lets me though. Oh, there we go. Yeah, here we go. Sorry for that delay there, but I want you to be able to see what I'm doing. Okay, so we're gonna say move UI view here. And we called it move me. So if we for instance say move me and access the center property, and the center property is the very middle of uh, the UI view. And in our case, it was at a 123x and 0y. And we're going to change that. Um, and we do that by making a CG, well, CG point by calling the CG point make function. <clears throat> now, this function returns um, a CG point which the sensor property needs in order to correctly display the UI view at a given set of coordinates. And this is pretty straightforward because this function takes two arguments, a CG float X and a CG float Y. So whatever value we put in here is uh, identical to where it's going to be placed uh, on the screen in regards of X and Y coordinates. So if we, for instance, wrote 123x and 0y, we wouldn't see any change because it's already there. So well, we're going to try and put it at the same x location, so it's still going to be in the middle of the screen. And then we're going to put it a little further down by giving it a y of 200, like this. Now you don't have to do the .of, but um, you save the compiler some work because if you don't, it's going to have to convert your integer to floats. And even though it's, I mean, it's very very little <coughs> amount of work that's required to do that, but it all counts when developing for the iOS device. Now, simply by doing this, we should see that our image moved down the screen. So we're just gonna go ahead and run that to verify it's true and no mistakes have been made. Just gonna go and have a quick look at the button. It looks decent. I don't know what's up with Xcode. The first build I'm making um, after a new startup is always the longest. And on top of that, my Xcode's been crashing quite frequently. Okay, doesn't seem to work. 
Well, in the meantime, I'm just going to go ahead and get a small icon. Oh, this eye. Spot on. I'm going to use that. I'm just going to stop this build here because it doesn't quite seem to work. I'm just going to add an image to this since it looks so nice. I'm just going to remove the background. You can do the white. So now we have a nice little eye staring. Excuse me. There we go. Sometimes if you have a long build, you can just stop and run it again. Um, and now you see that the eye moved to the correct location. And that's pretty much it. Now you can see that it's not exactly in the middle. So the X coordinate doesn't seem to fit because we made this 123x. We also made this 123x. But <clears throat> we used the center property here. And the center property might not be used here. Oh, well, might not be. It isn't used here. Because as you see, the Y is at zero. And that means that it's actually counting the points from the very top right here. But the center property is having the points right there. I hope this made a little sense, but you can easily arrange it in the middle by just going at <coughs> going online and check the dimensions in pixels of the iPhone and then just divide it by two. Anywho, it all worked quite nicely, so we're just gonna go ahead and stop. Now this is a little dull, so let's add an animation to this. And adding an animation is very, very simple. We're gonna go to the UI, we're gonna send a message to the UI view class. And we're gonna say animate with duration. Whoops. Animate with duration animations. Now it takes two arguments, and the first here is an NS time interval. So we just write a <clears throat> a float and that's how long it's gonna take to commit this animation now we want this to be let's say two seconds and then it needs the animations and we add the animations within these two here and we close off the bracket and end our statements or our message call so in here right there is where we add what's gonna happen in this animation and you can have several lines so by using this you could move 10 different UI views at the same time in the same uh, duration <clears throat> but we're just gonna move one and like above we access the center property and we pass in a CG point and we're gonna say 200x and 350y and in here you also close up with a semicolon remember that or it's gonna give you an error and that's it when we run it we should see it animating like that that's beautiful you can literally animate a UI view with one line of code or one message call it's a really really powerful concept and you can <clears throat> really mess around with it for instance, you could have an NS timer that that calls a method that calls or send a message to the UI view and animated a lot of different game objects or characters. So you would have them move across the screen all the time to add some sort of artificial intelligence. And I mean, the possibilities are endless. So go ahead and experiment with this. And remember, it works for for buttons and everything that's part of the UI view. And I think this concludes the tutorial. So just a quick roundup. There. Add a UI view. 
make an outlet so you can access the center property. The center property takes a CG point and you create one by calling the CG point make function. Pass in two floats and if you place it inside a animate with duration animation call to the UI view class, you can have it animated. And that's basically it. So thank you for tuning in and I'll see you guys next time.